Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. We're gonna go ahead and pick up right where we left off, so I'm gonna jump in the bunk here and get some sleep. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just guessing that there's gonna be some kind of dream sequence or something. Who knows? We'll see. Yep, shocker! The dream is suffocating. Yeah, see, I just, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> the dream is suffocating, a shift, shifting tunnel of glass and steel, towering silhouette of a dark majesty, a shadowy doorway, and the teeth. They snap at your heels as you claw your way back to consciousness. You open your eyes, Duncan looming over you. Mal, come on, Mal, wake up. Gotta go tactic kindly. The others left already. That was one rough night. We gotta go. I've been trying to wake you for a while now. You're thrashing around in your sleep. Alright, let's go. We don't want to keep the mob boss waiting. You get some rest? Enough, I guess. Didn't sleep well last night. Bad dream. Me too. I guess that's what, why I was thrashing. Okay, think about it. That statement from the cops on the newscast could be fake. Ours was. In the surveillance footage, we never saw Raymond get shot. The camera was hit by a stray gunfire. Raymond's alive, Mal. I know it. Ah, oh, you make a good case, Officer Wu. Hold it together, Duncan. Not sure I have anything left to hold together. What the hell did we fall into here, Mel? I mean, what's coming next? Is it an obvious look around? We're sinless, living in the shadows, dealing with criminals. I think we are Shadowrunners. I think this whole thing has been a blur. I haven't been able to really stop and think for a second. You get to keep your gun, that's something. Don't mess with me, man. Oh, I'll, I'll mess with you. I will mess with you as I see fit. All right, let's go talk to Kindly. Um, who's this dude? Kindly's place reeks of stale cigar smoke and fresh urine. Okay, and... How'd you sleep, my little ones? Fine, thanks. Who's the guy on the floor? Oh, he's a plainclothes cop. He snuck into the area last night while you were sleeping, hoping to find you and kill you before your competition got to you first. Oh. Oh, before his competition got to you first. My men found him outside the trolley you were sleeping on. They saw to it... Your rest was undisturbed, and that your location remained a mystery. You could thank Mr. Bao for that. Hmm. Alright, we'll just nod at him. Now, tell my friends what you told me. I, I, I don't need anything, I swear. I, I just got the orders last night. Somebody high up wants these two dead. The whole department's on it. I, I don't know anything else. Someone from high up. How high? All the way. All, all the way up. It's someone on the council. Someone on the executive council wants these two dead? Oh. Give me the truth. This is the truth, madam, I swear. Whoever it was that labeled them as terrorists... We're, we're, we're to terminate with extreme prejudice. Hmm. That's all he's got. 
What a reason last night someone on the executive council of the Free Enterprise Zone ordered the Hong Kong police force to kill two nobodies from Seattle? I find that fascinating, don't you? Eh, really? Corporations can just order the cops to kill people here? Yes, but why do they need to label as international terrorists? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Propriety. My darling, the government has someone gunned down. They prefer to make it appear justified that people feel safer when their murderers feel like they're part of civilization. My, my, but you have definitely fallen into a deep end of the pool. Seattle isn't like Hong Kong. There, the megacorps control the government. Here, the corps are the government. The Executive Council is chosen by a corporate board of governors, or basically the legislative and executive branches of the Hong Kong government in one tiny package. Eight people call all the shots, neat and efficient. For the wage slaves and the civilian sheep, corporations are the pathions of gods who wield absolute power, but not for us. Who else knows my guest visit? Who else knows about my guest visit? No one, madam. I, I hadn't called it in yet. I, I wanted to kill for myself. No one knows they're here, I swear it. Mr. Bao? He's telling the truth. No outgoing calls on his PDA. Very good. Thank you, Bao. She nods at the cop. Thank you for your honesty. In one smooth motion. Oh! String of the Bao produces a silenced pistol, fires it in the policeman's head, and replaces it in his jacket. His face never changes expression. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering what you were going to do with him. He knew, my darling. He knew. It's clear our friend Raymond Black was up to something involving the walled city. Something having to do with prosperity. And this executive council member wanted Raymond dead for it. Now they want you to... They want you dead for it, too. This plastic-faced man may show up on your door one day. I have a proposal for you, my sweets. Work for me. Yeah, see? Right? We kind of knew that's how that was going to go. With Nightjar and Gunshot, Gutshot dead, I find myself with two job openings. Fill them. I have the need for deniable assets here. Players unaffiliated with the triads who can take care of some more unsavory business needs about town. You've proven yourselves resourceful and you have no existing connections here. That can be a positive thing in this line of work. Yeah. Shadowrunners. What a surprise. Called it, Mal. Yeah, I did. I did call it. You're right, Duncan. <laughs> in exchange, I'll keep you safe from pests like this. And you'll have safe harbor here in my town and a steady source of income. Now, I'm putting in a lot of effort to help a pair of foreigners. Not foreigners, my sweet. Valued business associates. I need to learn who killed one of my clients and then ordered cops to execute my team of Shadowrunners. This is brazen disregard for my power. Base dictates that it must be confronted or I stand to lose everything. Okay. Need to find out who killed Raymond and why. We shall, my sweet. Work with me and I will allow you... Uh, allow me to help make... Allow me to help you make money. My network. Let my network work for you and we will find out... What you've gotten yourselves into. Without my help, you won't last a day out there. You're completely out of your depth, I'm afraid. You need a partner. Kindly Shang will be your partner. It's just like you said, Mal. Shadowrunners. Glad I had some time to think about it. Process. Grips the back of his neck, squeezes hard, rips his hand away. Ah, uh, I'm not a cop anymore. That guy's dead. I man, what about you? Let's see. Yeah, I think Ray's still alive, too. Let's run the shadows and figure out what happened to him. Raymond is alive, I'm sure of it. Then it's done. Heo is now open to you. Okay. Good, so then maybe those shops will be open then? That would be great. Street names. Okay, I'll think of something interesting. I think we got you covered, Gun Show. Fits, doesn't it? Indeed. I knew that was going to stick. I'll handle the same way we did with all your previous work. 
All jobs I line up for you will be sent to the computer on the squat boat. My computer? I'm not the leader type. You are now, by process of elimination. Isabel isn't the leader type. You got that right. As for Gobbit, let's just say Gobbit doesn't have a head for business. And then there's Gun Show. There is out on Mr. Gun Show. Meaning? Meaning there's a lot going on in that head of yours right now, and I'm not sure I can trust you. Gun Show will be fine, trust me. Don't worry, I'll be cool, Mal. Well, okay, then I guess I'm running the show. It'd be weird calling you Malevolent again. We called you that since we were kids. I guess this is our new crew. Welcome to the shadows. Okay, let's go shopping. Hopefully. Okay, crew advancement. As you lead your team through the shadows, your companions will continue to develop and learn new combat skills. Clicking on the icon in the lower right hand corner of the screen will open up crew advancement menu. Um, this is new. One of your companions is eligible to learn a new combat skill. Each advancement level you may choose one of two possible combat skills for your runners. Choose wisely. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, this I don't remember this being in Dragonfall. Maybe this is maybe it's like this in Dragonfall Director's Cut. I, I don't know, I didn't play that one, so. But this is pretty cool. Spirits will never break away in the first two rounds after summoning them. Hmm. Augment skill ranged combat spends more time at the firing range, increases her ranged combat skill and SMG specialization by one. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's... Hmm. Spirits never breaking away in the first two rounds after summoning him could potentially be pretty good. I want to focus her on. Hmm. Doesn't look like she gets another improvement on her weapon skill. And that does come in handy. I think I will grab that then. Okay, and then Duncan's crowd control gain ability underslung beanbag gains rifle rifle ability that does two AP da damage and imbalances targets, making them easier to hit on subsequent attacks. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then lethal force gains assault rifle ability that fires a single shot of incendiary ammo, does additional two damage and pierces up to two armor. Which I think crowd control would be more useful. Okay, yeah, so you have to select them all and then put confirm. Okay, makes sense. Okay, then Isabel. Game program, Tar Blaster. No, I don't really need her to do that. Augment Gear Mini Launcher can now fire remote mines that can be triggered and detonate at will. Yeah, that sounds cool. Okay, confirm all. Yep. Okay, cool. That's neat. I like that. So why does it stay there then? Just reasons, I guess. <laughs> okay, fine. Now, let's go to the tech guy. Maybe the cyber deck will be open now, too? Or the uh, cyber dock?
No, I'm telling you, nobody uses the KM3s. Nobody. Oh. You provided this PDA. Tell me about it. Nice work. Okay, now I, I just I need to buy some stuff. Looks like you got some dangerously exposed wires over there. Yo, what are you, my mother? Those wires are fine when they're there. High and dry, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I'm here for tech. Show me what you got. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I can use that deck, so I will buy it. Ooh, it's pricey. It's pricey. Boost persona speed by 20%. Hmm. Okay, we need blaster. Yeah. Erosion's good too. I already have firewall. Okay, that's nice. Use yourself for a friendly target. Yeah, medic's nice too. Creates. Yeah, that's a. Those are. Yeah, these are consumables. Yeah, the programs. I'm not gonna buy any of these yet. Nah, they're just a little too pricey. Programs, however, are persistent, so. Okay, let's grab Blaster. Let's grab. Medic. Where's the, where is it? Uh, yeah, degrade? Actually, I think erosion's probably better. All right, let's grab all that. Confirm. Yep, so I will need another gear slot eventually so that I can use another drone. But now I have my deck, which is kind of cool. Actually, let's see, what does this guy have for outfits? Argo carrier, basic nylon street clothes. Armor 3. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. See if there's someone else we can buy from in here. Yeah, here's someone. Oh, there you are, man. Something you need? I have strange dreams recently. What a coincidence. It was about an hour ago that we were all discussing the very same thing. Interesting, mind sharing? It makes you think we'd be comfortable sharing our dreams. Don't mind him. He's always been a poor sport. Raises a good point. Some of our dreams contain information about best left private. I'll tell you. I believe you're trustworthy. Please, malevolent. Make yourself comfortable. I'll share my dream with you. I appreciate it. Dreamed a, a long, dingy hall. When faced with such a thing, one generally walks its length, so I lifted my right foot, placed it in front of me, but upon taking that first step, I find myself instead drawn down the alleyway to the left. Surrounded by friends and loved ones, somehow I knew that I was being followed. I saw the long hallway. My own experience was a little different, however. You know, young man, you look very much like a person I saw walking that hall. Just behind him, a great and terrible shadow followed. Oh. So, we're all kind of sharing dreams. That's interesting. Alright, alright, but you don't go repeating any of this, you hear me? 
A dream began as a nightmare. I dreamed of failures and mistakes I've made throughout my life. People have let down. I dreamed of my family that I abandoned. But then I dreamed of the walled city. I stood before it. Its door opened to me. When I passed inside, all of my guilt fell away. As though the city had absolved me. Washed away my guilt. I remember feeling happy. There, I did it. You happy? My thanks. Have a subject change? Okay. Gotta head out. Good luck with your game. I've gotta find some people to sell stuff to me. Hey, what's this? Father of five phrases. Hey, let's go in there. Oh, this is the mage store or shaman store, I guess. Nice to meet you. See your wares. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the mage stuff. Okay, well, that's cool. Yep. What kind of outfits do you have? Robes. Doesn't really fit me, right? Get it? It doesn't fit me. It's an outfit. Ha <laughs> ha! So funny! Oh, here we go. Th right, this is the guy that sells the drones. Come here, guy. Oh, they're so expensive! Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I don't have enough money. Darn it! Well, we'll have to hold off then. I spent a lot on my decking stuff, so... Yeah. Have anything I can sell? No, I'm not selling that stuff. Then I got the nicer deck, also. Well, I could sell that. I don't need that. Not gonna quite get me there, though. I could buy this smoker. Yeah, support drone. Equip delay smoke trail whenever you need it the most, but eh. I don't think so. Let's spend. Let's spend karma, shall we? Additional weapon slot. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. So. We need range combat one, range combat two. Yep, I'll have to get another quickness, and there we go. So confirm. Yep, and now I have another gear slot, which I'll need for the second drone. So that's all I'll have. I won't actually carry a weapon, I just needed the slot. Yep, so I'll have my deck and two drones. I, I, you think that thing's big enough on my back there? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Now, I know that we had we're supposed to go and get a mission or whatever, but... Well, actually, I guess I can do that. I can go get a mission, but I'm gonna go back into the walled city because there was that place in the sewers that I couldn't hack into before. Oh, we can go down to the engine room now? Hmm. Mm, okay, we'll do that in a minute. Mission computer. Check for new messages. Okay. Mission computer. Set your mission computer up to automatically collect and collect news reports. Okay, good. Resources. I've been instructed to inform you that various suppliers. Okay. 
excellent resource for acquiring additional weapons should you require any. All right, Club 88, okay. If you desire training in the path of an adept, seek out Spider Shin. Formality can supply cybernetic enhancements. Vault Technos Palace. Any drones, reliable Matthews. Okay, good. Serial killer. Got a problem, malevolent. If you're going to help me solve it, a lot of business with Wampoans. Not familiar with them, I'll forgive you. You're an outsider after all. Tribe of techno fetishes, deckers who've taken up residence. Oh. They make and trade high tech goods. A lot of Nuyen passes through their pasty little fingers. Hit a snag, though. Their council of leaders are being eliminated by a serial killer. So you're going to be my proxy, dear. I don't care how you do it, but I need those murders stopped. Hmm. Speak with... Okay, who? Maximum Law? Speak with him if you wish to know more about it. He's got a big mouth. He knows... uh, okay. I can do that. Let's take that run. Access the Shadowland BBS. Search for relevant... Post pay data for sale. Right, that's that one we got. Nice. I have another one? No, I already did it. Okay. Search for relevant keywords. Terrace in Hong Kong. They said there were four of them. One got away. A human, two arcs, and a dwarf. A troll, elf, and human were killed on the scene. Looks like there's a 50,000 New York reward. Wow, that's quite a bit. Just checking to see if anything big's there. Missed connections. You were carrying a duffel bag bulging with stolen prototype weaponry. Well... I flitched the intel that goes with it. Can we connect? Blackjack. Very funny, Blackjack. Sorry, our job went sideways. I got trapped. Red Queen. Interesting. Okay. Let's go, um... Let's go downstairs. I think the guy down here is the person that's infected with... Uh, essentially, what is the vampiric virus? Or what's the Shadowrun equivalent to turning into a ghoul? Oh, well, maybe not. It's oppressively hot down here, and the air is full of synthetic odors that grab you by the sinuses and refuse to let go. You can smell engine grease and melting plastic, ionized air, and lead solder. A quick scan of the room tells you why. The downstairs tenant has converted this place into a machine shop. Metal fabrication tools, duraplast, extruder lines the wall, and a pair of heavy industrial manipulators hang from the ceiling. Okay. Dresses you without turning. Ah, I was wondering when I'd meet my new neighbor. His voice is pleasant, cultured. There's a hint of a Russian accent there, but buried under layers of nuance. Please stay where you are. I'll be with you in just a moment unless you fancy an unplanned trip to Chrome Alley. Don't touch anything. There are all manner of tools here that could take your hand clean off. Take your time, I won't touch anything. Very kind, thank you. Hmm, see what's on the screen or examine the robotic arms mounted on the wall? Let's see what's on the screen. The feet on the monitor looks like some sort of design software. You can see what appears to be a slim, spidery appendage, orthographic and perspective views. Very good, yes, it's coming along nicely, very nicely indeed. So he turns towards you, smiling for the first time you can see his face. Broadly handsome, Slavic features and chiseled jaw. His eyes like flecks of ice. So sorry to have kept you waiting, Mr. Evelent, Malevolent. Good to meet you. You as well. Now tell me, what can I do for you? With alarming speed, a sensor looking drone scuttles out from under the woodwork. Movements are surprisingly agile and fluid. She rears back menacingly, spreading its Four legs. Clear sign of aggression. Oh, uh, please don't mind the drone. He can be territorial, but as long as you remain civil, he will not bite. 
extends his hand simultaneously the drone relaxes to a neutral position lowering its killing legs Ratcher my mechanical counterpart here Koschi um okay a pleasure oh okay cool so he's a I mean he's a uh, a rigger a rigger like me nice uh, I'm very pleased to meet you friend the community such as Hyoi it's important to be on good terms with one's neighbors. Agreed. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask you some questions if you have the time. Very well. This morning's casting should be cool. It'll still be cooling for a few minutes. That's time enough to talk. Suppose that not many riggers would name their prize position after a villain from a fairy tale. Huh. Interesting. Deathless, huh? Caught a hint of an accent. Very good ear, I'm impressed. Yes, I grew up... Oh. Okay. Went to school there, started my career as industrial sector, fairly common story... Blah, blah, blah. How many languages do you speak? Counting Russian and Cantonese? Fifteen. Holy moly! Seems to admit that I'm only literate in twelve, however. Um... <laughs> Okay. That's still impressive. Perhaps when compared to the common man, but a great many uh, polygots who can and do put me to shame. Arabic is a particular bugbear of mine. The unfamiliar characters and lack of vowels make it damn tricky to get a handle on. But I suppose that all men have their limits. What do you mean by this morning's casting? Exactly what I said, casting that I made of a new locomotive assembly. Biomimetic design, as you can see. This one's inspired by the walking legs of a decapod or station. Mangrove, cr uh, mangrove crab, to be specific. Designing drone parts in here? Fabricating them, yes. Did you learn to do that? More training experience than I care to mention. Got some interesting machinery here. Hmm. Yep, you cheap. How do you afford to keep it? Freelance, at the risk of sounding immodest, I've been modified myself rather well. There's always corporations that need a design consultation, so you'd be surprised how lucrative the work can be. And there's always other work that I can turn to in a pinch. Huh. You said that you used to work for a corp. Whose payroll were you on? Eh, that's something of a sore subject. My departure was involuntary, you see. I did not part ways with my employer under the best terms. I will tell you that I worked for... What is that? Christian Avocator. But work for me... But you'll forgive me if I don't want to go into detail. Hmm. Another personal question, wouldn't you say? Maybe. But we're having a personal conversation. Indeed we are. And even in personal conversations, certain topics are off limits. Truth be told, I don't feel especially comfortable discussing my side work with relative strangers. Suffice to say, freelance activities often fall on the illicit side of the spectrum. Okay, I'll drop the subject. Maybe we can come back to it later. Perhaps. Hmm. Okay, cool. So we've met him. I'm I'm assuming that we'll be able to hire him if we want to. Otherwise, why would he be there, right? That would be silly. Okay, let's see. Go we'll track down the serial killer. Yeah, we will, but... Is that in the walled city? There was a guy in the restaurant, well not restaurant, whatever, a club that we could talk to also. So I think what I'll do... Mm. 
go in here real quick. What's back here? Can I help you? We used to be on helping, but what can you offer? Guns or a swift kick out the door if you mess with me and mine. What do you got for sale? Yeah, I'll take a look. Oh, there we go. Pretty nice selection. About outfits. Tempted to go ahead and get this. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, confirm. Oh, goodbye. That actually work? Yeah, yeah, it did. Cause my outfit's different. Now I look like a proper shadow runner, right? That's important. Yep, armor clothing. Nice. Yeah, it means I'm gonna have to hold off on getting another drone, but that's okay. Come on. Okay, he owns this place. Okay, and what about this person? There was someone else that had information for us. I just don't remember who the heck it was. Oh, what's this guy got? Oh, he sells drugs. Interesting. Okay. So now I know where to get gun upgrades. Well, not that it's going to matter much for my character, but... Back to this guy. Okay. So this will take us... Yeah, to the... Whatever, the gardens or whatever, where those... Techno people are. Try to find that serial killer, but before I do that, I want to go back down. Can I go to the walled city again? Well, not this way, it doesn't look like. So you lo I'm locked out from going back there? I go down here and see. Because I wanted to go use my decking skills. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of on rails. No pun intended. Get it? Because it's a train. <laughs> we have to go here, I guess. All right. Additional runners. Dish to your team. Your fixer has access to a small network of mercenaries. These runners appear below your core team. As you complete missions, both your team members and available mercenaries will periodically gain access to new equipment and abilities. Okay. It will be available... Uh, runner gains will all, okay. Well, I'll make me the next time you take them out on a mission. Okay. So the advantage of being one of the core people is that they don't cost me any new yen, right? So I make more money. This is the same thing that was the same system that was in place in the other games as well. Is that you've got a couple of essentially loyal followers or friends, um, and they cost you nothing, or you can get someone that maybe has some skills that you need, or maybe they're a little bit more powerful, and you can hire them, as you can see here. But pretty pricey, right? So I can pick up someone else, but I don't think I'm going to. I think what I'm going to do here is I don't need Isabel because, well, I just don't. Yeah, I'll just go with Duncan. And I'll go with Gobbit. Oh, I can take them all. Nice. Okay. Might as well, then. Okay. Wampoa Garden. Carnival of chrome and neon. Rife with every manner of technology. 
an artifice one can imagine. The entire area has the feel of a night market, save that ships are sold in lieu of steamed buns and Vinderhawk has the la latest drones rather than folk art. Okay, interesting. I'm kind of hoping that we'll run into some uses for the whole decking skills, right? Well, I have on my stuff. I've got my drone. I've got my deck. Um, let's take a look here. Equipment in stash. Why do I have? Hmm. programs oh I see I see okay so I could move these to the step I got it I got it okay never mind okay so he's got a what kind of grenade is that frag grenade okay And Gobbit's got Doc Wagon Trauma Card. Does have a Nature's Elemental Fetish. Okay, good. So we can summon one. Good. And then Isabel has her Grenade Launcher. She can do the Mines also. Okay, well, we're good then. A word, uh, is there a word for feeling nostalgic for a place you can't wait to leave again? I don't miss this place, but I miss the feelings I had when I lived here. Uh, that's not it, but close. Okay, I've seen pictures. It looks like a yacht. That's the one. Kind of hard to miss. It's been a fixture since the late last century. These days, it's just a squat. Shops, family affairs, not corporate ones. Anything we should know about this place? We're all tech heads, tinkers, self-taught scientists. Despite the fact that there's no formal education system, everyone here is pretty smart. It prints kids to skilled workers so they can learn a trade. Elder Gao taught me decking. Left after she got brain fried trying to crack Mitsuhama's network. Elder Ip taught me to shoot. You should still be here. Come on, let's go. Okay, well, we will. We'll go look for this serial killer and whatnot. But we're going to do that in the next one. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, hit that thumbs up and come back and join me for the next one. Until next time, I am Mal. And I will see you later.